Happy Sunday, everyone, and in bulk blessings to yesterday and today, because today is the 2nd of February. If you are just joining me, uh, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy things that have to do with tarot, fairy, and pagan-related material. Um, I do a little bit of everything on my channel with that, um, even some crafting. Uh, obviously, that's why we do the crafting uh, re weekly craft or creative readings, and I do them every single Sunday. All right, so let's talk about last week. Um, I made I told you guys I was making love bugs and I spent my entire week making love bugs. So <laughs> I have 15 of them and I can show you my favorite one. Uh, so it doesn't, my, what I created doesn't specifically pertain to the cards from last week, which was the tower and the wheel. Okay. But this little guy's name's Bricks. And he's my favorite, but I'm pretty sure he's going to find a home tomorrow because that's when they all get to find their homes is tomorrow evening. Um, anyways, so last week was the wheel and uh, the tower and how I'm going to pertain it to my art uh, for the week is that the wheel is a sense of completion. Not only is, was it my card, but it is a sense of completing something and I completed all of my love bugs. And then the tower, really, I kind of just, I'm trying to do new things with my channel, uh, with both of my channels, this channel and my creative Wispy Realm channel. Um, and those new things, I think, are where the tower moments come in is because I have to really consider what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how t time consuming it is and those kind of things. And then I've also learned, I kind of stand in my own way. So that tower moment uh, was a moment I was talking with uh, Rochelle over Amethyst Ascension. And I do, I make some excuses and I stand in my own way and I've got to get find ways around that. So with that being said, we are going to pull two cards for this coming week and see what Fae and Divine have in store for us. That way we can create. Now, these kind of creations can be part of writing. They can be part of poetry. They can be sculpting. They can be crocheting. They can be gardening. You can do garden art. Um, you, if you do fairy gardens, it can apply to fairy gardens. If you just enjoy doing altars, which I find as like a sense of art, you can even apply it to that if you really, really want to. Uh, drawing, um, chalk art, um, graffiti, whatever it is that you do artistically for a hobby, we can apply these cards to that. So just keep that in mind and I am going to fan these out. We are still using the Paulina's um, Joie de Vivre deck. All right, let's see. First card is that one. Oh, wait, I pulled two at the same time. So I guess they already knew exactly what they wanted to give us, didn't they? All right, let's take a look at these. First card is King of Wands. Oh, and Nine of Swords. We're back into some wands, which we've had a lot of wands here and there, haven't we? Um, so, the King of Wands. I'll let you guys take a close look at this card. And you can see the vines and swirls. Uh, looks like a little nest down here. You have the king riding a lion-like beast. It has these little antennas. That kind of reminds me of my love bugs. <laughs> uh, and the wand. Okay, so we got some orange coloring and we got some purples. Uh, we got some browns and some reds, crowns. We have these little antennas. I think there's a lot. Oh, there's even some green. And so it's in bulk. So that green, that inspiration is probably coming to light. All right. <clears throat> And then we have Nine of Swords, and I'll let you take a look at this one real quick. Nine of Swords, you have the hearts that are kind of flying above it, and the cat-like creature, and these little, I don't know what these are. They look kind of like they're after him, though, don't they? Like they're attacking him, that's sad. And then you have the swords down here, with a butterfly even. There, so there's still like hope and inspiration and stuff like that going on in the card. So, uh... 
sorry, I didn't mean to blow you guys out. So let's take a look. So King of Wands. Um, wands are your spirit, your motion, your, your action type stuff. Um, it's like fire energy. So a lot of creative energy can come from that. Uh, like the king is also somebody who is very, um, confident, um, somebody who, uh, has focus and manage, manages their stuff well. So it could be that a lot of good focus and time management is going to come into play with this card. And then the nine of swords. So swords are like, um, their air element and they're, they're your, um, your state of mind, you know, your thoughts. So it could be that you have all of these thoughts that are coming at you and they could be negative thoughts that are down inside here, um, that are trying to get to you and, um, trying to overwhelm you, but don't let that happen because if you refocus your energy on the positive and what you need to complete this week, you can make it happen. So don't listen to the negativity. Don't listen to the people telling you you can't, even if it's yourself, because you can. You can and you will, all right? Let's put that out there. So um, nines are also um, fulfillment and achieving goals. So, and we have this little butterfly down here. So look on the brighter side to help achieve some of your goals that are going on. All right, now let's talk about coloring and how we can apply some of these to our art, all right? So let's take a look back at the cards. Okay, we can add a nest. Um, if you're writing poetry, you can write poetry about a nest, maybe about uh, the, you know, how it's starting to turn towards the spring season. So we have these leaves coming out right here. So you can talk about that. Um, if you're drawing, you can draw your own swords, you can draw your own, ins you know, what inspires you the most. Um, we can add hearts to our crochet patterns. Um, Monsters if we want to if we're sculpting or something like that. There's two kind of like hat crowns So hats could be something that we focus on this week whether we are um, drawing or Sculpting or maybe we just like dressing up for our hobby and we could do that too wands Maybe it's time to make a new wand for your altar um, There's these vines that are in here. So you got swirls that you could work with you have straight lines that you could work with. You have like a pattern style stuff that you could work with. I think the pattern's in both cards. Yeah, there's a pattern right here in the wings too. So wings are a thing. Um, and colorings are purples, greens, yellows, oranges, reds. So those are those are the big colorings in this in these cards. So here you go. You take a look. Find one thing out of these cards that you might want to apply to your artwork and let me know what it is in the comments that you want to try to apply. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastically creative week.